everyone this is Pramita here uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how I paint on my tracing papers now these are uh, even though these are called tracing papers you will get them at your craft stores or where you can buy your art supplies uh, these are specialty tracing papers these are like vellum these are very much like vellum but they are transparent or partly so and uh, they are used in certain uh, drafting or you know the drawing kind of professions like you might need them in your architectural uh, plans and drawings or if students are studying geography they need these kind of tracing papers because these are non-slippery these are non-glossy these are not like those shiny papers so uh, uh what i did was i had a roll of this okay so let me tell you firstly uh, i get mine from a local craft store which sells all kinds of pens paints and all stuff anyways let's not get into the details these come in big rolls like if you want a meter or a uh, uh, half a meter or something like that or they come in a4 size sheets so initially i did buy a big roll but it's very difficult to you know mm, maneuver a big roll so uh, this time when i went and uh, shopped for this kind of tracing paper i looked for the a4 size now these are already pre-cut in the a4 size so you need not do anything look for thick tracing papers see you can you can see it's partly uh, translucent and partly opaque it's not truly see-through okay so these kind of papers will hold your color so what i did was i used a number of techniques and uh, the one that worked best and easiest was the distress stains in you know sorry uh, the distress stains that you get in bottles now I don't have a ton of these and uh, incidentally since we buy these stuff online we uh, actually I'm not sure what I get unless and until I use it so I'm going to just show you a tiny demo now you can blend this okay so I am using it over here directly on the piece of paper but this color itself is very light so you won't be able to make any difference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and use a darker shade so that um, you'll be able to make out what's going on so yeah i go about like this you can go anyway what i do is i randomly color the sheets you know um, i don't know what color will pop up where i just have no rhyme or reason I just uh, you can blend them yeah so you can do in this fashion also if you have the distress stains but these are pretty expensive so everybody might not have that so I have a cheaper alternative you must be having your watercolor pencils now that is the stuff that most of the crafters they have with them so what you can do, sorry, uh, my camera is all shaky and you know, uh, now what you can do is um, you can uh, take these pencils and watercolor on the sheet. You can go about two ways. Once again, you can color directly on this paper, okay, and go about with a water brush. see how it blends up or if you want to have a controlled and you know the blending process to be uniform now with the water brush your blending process might not be uniform if you're not a very practiced hand at this okay so the easier way will be with a baby wipe or a wet wipe so what you can do is uh, you can take a baby wipe sorry the lighting situation is awful out here because today it's very 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 cloudy and um, i waited till there was enough light uh, because this is natural light i i think things uh, film better on 
you know when you're doing it at natural light so let me begin this um, so I'm quickly putting the pencil on this wet wipe okay so it will blend better you will see how it is done I'm just going to put my finger like this and remember we had already put some watercolor over here see how if you directly put the pencil on the tracing paper you will see the marks uh, on the tracing paper itself but if you put it on the baby wipe it will blend easily so this is the best technique so you go about blending the color in circular motion that's the best technique so you still have colors left so you can go and color them up if you have water solu soluble uh, crayons if you have distress crayons they will work the same way put them on the baby wipe and just rub them over the um, tracing paper and uh, initially you might find that it crinkles up a little but after a while you'll see how it dries up smooth there will be no marks nothing and it is it is you know a dream to work with I'll show you how I have uh, done some stuff on tracing papers just I'll be just back in a moment so Okay, so these are the some stuff that I have already done uh, on these sheets. As you can see, I have uh, used distress stains. Then I have sprayed some mist over them. So it's up to you how you want to uh, make these papers. Uh, you can, you know, and then you can stamp on them. You can punch out some circles on them. Anything you want for layering. Uh, writing anything of that sort so the best way to go about it is with watercolor pencils uh, I don't advise putting watercolor directly on on this tracing paper because this tracing paper is not equipped to take the water uh, color as such so it might crinkle up a lot uh, so I don't know how it's going to work but the best thing is uh, use limited quantity of liquid either it's water or your distress stains if you can if you can control the water content then your crinkling of the paper will not be there I have also uh, tea dyed some tracing paper I'll show you how it has turned out now <laughs> me being me what I did was I don't know if it's visible or not you can see how it has stained up yeah and then I had actually this was lying around in my house you can see some maps that that are already done on these tracing papers my students had practiced some maps over here and uh, I had these maps already done and I tea dyed this tracing paper and it has turned out so well uh, to get these you know marks you just need to fold the paper when you're baking or drying uh, it works out best that way and uh, the funny thing is this tracing paper will take anything if you have a stays on ink uh, I will show you how you can stamp on your these map sections I'm just going to show you how I do it I've done it uh, numerous times uh, in my journals so you, as you can see there's already a penciled out map and then I have tea dyed this whole stuff I'll show you how I use my stamps on this now this is a hero art stamp I love woodblock stamps I I'm in love I don't know <sighs> so I'm going to ink up this and I'm going to stamp like so so you can see how I'm going to stamp and I'm going to do an offset also yeah and it works out awesome like if you have uh, a tracing paper that is that has been dyed uh, or painted on it works out so well so you can do like this 
and then you can cut this out according to your needs you can uh, decoupage that anything you want on your tags this is just a technique which you can use in many ways in your art projects or in your journals so yeah this is how you do it uh, and I'll also show you how I stamp on the painted papers that I have done so this is a sheet that we just did in the morning now and these are some of the older sheets I'm going to show both of them so firstly I'm going to ink up my stamp so this is my stays on uh, I prefer stays on because that's because that's waterproof and I can go about it with my closed eyes so here I'm placing the stamp I'm stamping yeah so you can see how it has come out so I want another floral so I can stamp over here now I'm not the biggest stamper I tell you so it's going to be wonky but I don't mind that's how I am I'm not an expert this is not a foolproof process you can do better of course but that's how I work I tend to do a lot of experiments as such and I I do better by them so now you can see how you have a number of flowers and then you can cut up this portion you can use them in your tags uh, just how Elizabeth has done them uh, she had this wonderful tutorial on her um, channel and I'm so 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 moved by that I do want to try that very soon so and share what I have done so you can layer up flowers like this and even you can add a butterfly over here so it works out like this so I hope this painting on tracing paper has proved see we just painted this uh, sheet of tracing paper as you can see this is not the older one and it has taken the stays on ink so well I think it will work the same with uh, archival inks I'm not sure because I don't have archival inks I have stays on so that's what I use you can stamp on uh, your acetates also I have done that and it has worked out like a dream so don't throw away your packaging you can recycle them and make them into small added interests in your journals in your projects uh, whatever so this is how I paint my tracing paper and then stamp over them uh, it it works out so well just try it and see how it goes but um, I personally I don't put the color directly over here because as you can see there are still some marks so personally I prefer putting the color on the baby wipe itself and then moving that color around um, so I think this has been yeah so now you can see and you can also punch out uh, circles I'll show you how how I do it what I do is uh, maybe I'll punch out some circles from here and make embellishments sorry for layering you can do that so now it refuses to come up okay uh, yeah so now you can see how I have made this uh, embellishment slash oh god I've torn it never mind I just wanted to show you people because I'm not going to use the whole stuff you know and maybe I'm going to use a part of it anyways so just look how I have made some embellishments you can use them in your tags you can use them in your journals they work out beautifully and they blend so well with the journals that you'll be surprised see how I'm going to see I've already done some so I'm just going to make another half circle yeah so it's like this yeah so yeah I hope this uh, tutorial has been explanatory enough so bye and thank you